Never before has such a strange-looking ship been seen off the English coast in the North Sea. The Hugh W. Gordon, 400 feet long, 100 feet wide, is laying a pipeline from the shore north of the Humber to British Petroleum's gas drilling rig 40 miles out. Most of the crew are Texans, the ship being owned by a Texan company, hence the snappy Western Pipe headgear. These men are specialists with the know-how in getting oil and gas from under the seabed. Highly paid, they work long hours day after day in the race to bring the new gas into British homes. The complicated operations necessitate a control room where TV screens bring everything into view at the same time. It's a self-contained ship with all possible comforts for the crew of 200. There's food in quantity and quality, and very well cooked, calculated to keep the men happy and working fit. As many of the operations are dirty, there's a first-class laundry, which proves how comfortably men can live without women. Or does it? What a sensation those hats must be ashore. The highest paid men are the welders. Each join is examined by x-rays before it is rolled along out into the sea. The pipe sections are 40 feet long, 16 inches in diameter. They're covered with a fiberglass bitumen wrap. In reasonable weather, they lay 10 feet a minute, hour after hour till the job is done, to bring to Britain a bonus from Mother Nature, natural gas. <laughs> 